Now to the drone mystery. It continues to haunt communities in New Jersey, New York, and beyond. But now new technology is being deployed to help search for some answers. And as Nick Calloway reports, there are many questions. Ronald Jubin took blurry videos of what he describes as large drones outside of his home in Wachung, New Jersey. They seem to be out most every night. Jubin is also the mayor of Wachung. He's been disappointed with the lack of information from the state and federal government since the drone phenomenon started. If we don't get answers, it leads to um, conspiracy questions. What do we know? We're all in collusion. So I always say, is it, is it conspiracy or is it incompetency? And I don't want to be tagged with either. This has been 24-7. I can't walk out that door and somebody not stop me and say, tell me what's going on with the drones. Governor Phil Murphy says he got a first-hand look at the latest drone detection hardware from the feds that is now deployed to monitor the skies of New Jersey. He said they haven't found anything yet. There may be suspicious activity out there uh, as we stand here today, but there is little to no evidence of that right now. Despite drone sightings near military bases and airports, officials say there's no known threat to the public. President-elect Trump says he believes the feds know more than they're letting on. Our military knows and our, our president knows, and for some reason they want to keep people in suspense. I can't imagine it's the enemy because it was the enemy that blasted out. Officials say many of the drone sightings reported to turn out to actually be manned aircraft. They say there are also copycats taking to the skies for some fun. New Jersey's governor said the recent drone activity is a wake-up call, that the U.S. needs to do better in protecting the homeland from drone incursions. He quoted the classic film Jaws with the line, you're going to need a bigger boat. In Trenton, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS News, New York.